All right, I think a lot of people may know the answer to this, but David, do you know when the best time to sell your house is, to list it? Oh, it's a quiz for me now? Well, I'm just gonna ask you one question. I mean, I'm gonna you say, always throw these quizzes at me, so I'm throwing one at you. It's only fair. I would say springtime because that's what I've heard. Yes. Okay. You're right. At least I think you're right. Okay. Specifically, the best time to list your home for sale in order to maximize your return and minimize time on the market is May 1st to May 15th. You oh. have like a two week window. That's so interesting. It's okay. The best time, they say. So, to help give PTL viewers the knowledge they need to succeed and successfully sell their home, we want to introduce you to someone very special. We're excited to introduce a new series on PTL with real estate listing expert and her home buying buddy. Bonnie Loya is with Coldwell Banker and she and her home buying buddy are here to help us with a checklist to help us avoid costly mistakes and maximize profits. And we are excited to have Bonnie and Buddy with us as regular PTL contributors with ways that we can all be smarter and really do this successfully. Yeah, and we are already in love with Buddy. He's so adorable. <laughs> He's so wonderful. And it's so unique that the two of you are a team. You don't normally see a real estate agent with a dog. That's How right. did you guys sort of match up and all this happened? Well, in 2009, Coldwell Banker created a golden retriever icon because the internet was exploding for real estate. So Coldwell Banker said, we're going to create an icon. And it'll go out into the internet and retrieve listings and bring them back to your computer. So because it was a golden retriever and I had Buddy, I decided to put his picture on all my yard signs. And all of a sudden, all of my listings got more phone calls. <laughs> People bet. would yeah. like drive down the road and see this dog. And, and they'd stop, and then they'd see the house was for sale. So Buddy and I have worked together ever since. So the oh, two of adorable. you are going to be joining us mm -hmm. every month. And what sort of information do you want people to know? Like, what, what types of things will you be sharing? Every month, we're going to give you a list of things to do to help you get the highest price for your home. We're going to help you prepare your house for a showing. We're going to help you select a listing agent. We're going to help you um, know how to get the best curb appeal out of your house, the do's and don'ts of home renovations, anything that will help add value to your home so you can get the highest price possible. Well, we are at the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show, and for us here in Western PA, I feel like it's a sign of spring. So why is spring the best time to list your house? There's some three at least great reasons I can think of off the top of my head. The first is the grass is getting greener, the trees are coming out with leaves, the flowers are blooming, everything looks so much nicer in the springtime. The second reason is the days are getting longer and they're getting warmer, so more people are going to go out to the open houses and visit homes. And the third reason is logistics. No one wants to pick up their family, especially if they have kids in school, and move mm -hmm. them in the school year. I was going to say, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So the spring is the best time to get your house on the market with the idea that you're going to close in June or July, move your family at that time, and then have them all ready to start the next school year. So it just ma makes a seamless transition. Absolutely. Yes. And, and what sort of things at the Home and Garden Show should people be looking for? Um, the Home and Garden Show is an amazing opportunity for people to be inspired to do home renovations. We have hundreds of booths of all different things. We have windows, we have flooring, we have paint, we have cabinetry. So the Home and Garden Show is a great opportunity for people to um, visit booths, um, find out what's trending in the real estate market so they can make the most up-to-date improvements on their home. And the other thing about the Home and Garden Show is you've got hundreds of vendors here who are professionals in their field and they're willing to share their information with you and they're willing to help you figure out what what how their products going to help you and then you as a consumer can figure out you know what products are the best fit for your home and the third thing is you get a deal there are there's excellent pricing at the home and garden show and it's not available to anyone else so when we're at the Home and Garden Show, if you sign up with the vendors, you'll be eligible for their special pricing, and that way you can make an even better investment in your home improvement. Such a good tip. Yeah. So let's talk about um, the outside of your home, too. We really want to make sure that the curb appeal is what it is to attract people into the home, to, mm -hmm. to look at it. So that is great, and that is really one of the most important things, because um, when you're driving up to the home, you only have <laughs> one chance. <laughs> Sam. He is a ham. I love he's, it. He's he making a deal right now. <laughs> Sam just bought a house, guys. <laughs> Buddy, you're awesome. <laughs> you oh, go. here he goes again. <laughs> okay, right. so here's so another checklist. checklist. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's take a look at this. 
So okay. you want to make an appointment with your real estate agent as you're preparing. The first thing you want to do is make an appointment with your real estate agent. That way the real estate agent comes to your house. Um, he or she should bring a list of homes that have sold in the area and they should bring a written marketing plan. These That's are called the first comps. Step. These are called comps, right, the comparables. That's the first thing you want to do. And then while they're there, and after you've decided on a listing price, then it's time for you to walk through your house and figure out what you need to do. So the real estate agent should walk with you from room to room. And you need to bring a notebook with you, and you need to listen to what they say. Because they're going to tell you that you need to remove furniture. They're going to tell you that you might need to paint the house. They're going to tell you that you might need to update some of your flooring or your decor. So it's really important to take those notes because you want to be the best option for every buyer. And in order to do that, you have to have the house ready to show. It has to look like a model home. And the curb appeal is part of that well, from the very beginning. It's the first impression, That's the right? first impression. So my favorite thing to tell sellers to do is go outside of your house and time one minute and then look at your home from the perspective of a buyer. Look at everything outside. Take a look at the mailbox. You drive by it every day but maybe it needs to be painted. How's your driveway? Does it need mm -hmm. to be resealed? Walk up to your front door. What do you see? Is the, does the door need to be painted? Is the hardware looking you know, ugly? You, need to, you might need to change it. And then take a look up to the eaves of your house because you might need to pressure wash your house and you definitely want to remove any beehives or hornet's nest. Absolutely. So you That's do that true. in the front and then you go around the back and you do the same thing. Yeah, you don't want people running off scared of the bees yeah. before they even get through the front exactly. door. Really exactly. Really good advice. Yeah. Thank you, Bonnie yeah. and Buddy. I adore you, and we look <laughs> forward to you being a regular contributor here on PTL. We're going to learn a lot. We're very excited. I think Thank you. might be leaving with you today. <laughs> We made you a friend. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. This has been really, really helpful. <laughs> and of course, this is going to become a regular segment for us, so we are very excited. It certainly is. And in the meantime, you can stop by and actually visit Bonnie and Buddy this weekend at the Home and Garden Show, Saturday from 2 to 6, and then Sunday from 10 to 2 at the Coldwell Banker booth. It is number 2117. And I'll tell you, Buddy is a, is a wonderful dog. Yeah, you want to come and meet him for yeah. sure. And Bonnie's great. And too. Bonnie, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll